Ariel Hawani alongside the Strikeforce Women's Bantamweight Champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And uh, Ronda, it's good to see you again. Uh, I, I've noticed that your life has completely changed. The UFC is pushing you more than any Strikeforce fighter. The, I mean, more than most of the UFC fighters on their roster. Yeah. How does this all feel to, to be put out there and not just do the regular media stuff like, like MMAfighting.com, but like the real deal stuff? Um, well, I knew that I really made it when um, this guy, Ariel Hawani, used to make me wait while he was eating to go and you know finally be interviewed by him and now he's sending out people to come and get me and drag him over so that is what really touched me and felt like my life has changed We've come a long way yes we have now you're making me wait yes it's true how was it it was pretty good i must say <laughs> anticipation's great <laughs> yes, uh, distance i think also makes the heart grow fonder and by the way <laughs> I, I noticed on twitter you and mayhem miller were going back and forth mm -hmm. and you told them that your your mind is in the gutter like more so than most what, what did you mean by that what was he even talking about? He said something. I don't oh, know. okay. I said that um, I was tweeting in the bathtub. It was called tweeting, and then he said he was twacking, and I was like, uh, "Is my mind in the gutter? Does that sound really dirty?" And he was like, "No, your mind's in the gutter." But whatever, whatever. I don't know what he said. It was probably something very clever because he just got a qu uh, Twitter award for uh, creativity. Right. So I don't know. But, but the point is that you said to him, "You've never met, but he knows you very well because your mind is usually in the gutter." So what did you mean by that? Like how much? How deep into the gutter is your mind? What kind of a loaded question is that? I'm what do you want me to say? <laughs> yes, my mind's completely in the gutter. I'm picturing you naked right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. How's the eight pack? It's protected by a lot of stuff. Right. Oh. <laughs> <On> wow. <the outside. laughs> Close, I, I'm assuming. And by the way, Rhonda, prior to the interview, sort of challenged me not to ask her the usual questions. Yes. That's why I'm sort of going off the bean path here. How am I doing so far? You're doing good. You got an A in creativity so far. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, really enjoyed your interview on our show. Just a couple, not the first one, you versus Misha way back when, but after you won the title and uh, Dana White called you. That's one of the greatest moments in the history of our show. I don't know if you remember, I remember this. I remember. So what did he say to you? You didn't tell us then, but what did he say to you when he called you? He really just said, like, good job, oh my god, you're doing awesome, blah, 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 we're going to call you later. So I didn't even know, but I mean, it, I was such like a fan of the sport before any of this happened to get, like, you know, personal calls from Dana White, you know, just look at my cell phone to see the words Dana White, like, coming up on it. I, I went up to him the other day, I was like, this is the first time I had the courage to go up and say hello on my own, you know? So I'm, I don't know, it's the surrealism of it kind of is a... It's kind of hard to process, but uh, it's cool. I was had a, that was a real freak out moment. We like forgot that you were on the other line because yeah. I mean, my friend Marina was sitting right next to me in the car. We had it on speakerphone. We were listening to the whole thing and we were, like looking at each other, going ah, 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 with like everything that he said. And we hung up. We basically started screaming. And we forgot that you were on there, so it was cool. It was actually a genuine moment. So it's it was. Cool I kind of felt. It. I felt like I sort of ruined the moment for you because then you no, had to come no, back to no, our boring. It was hilarious. No, no, no. We got a, we got a good suit to humor. We had a good time with it. It seems like he really has taken a liking to you. Why do you think he likes you? And why? Why do you think he has now become so open to women's MMA only because of you? I don't think it's only because of me, but um, you know, I'm doing whatever I can to make women's MMA seem valuable and you know, profitable for this company. And um, you know, he's a smart guy, he's a smart businessman, and um, I think that, that has something to do with it. You know, so a lot has happened since you entered Strikeforce. Do you feel you know the people that were hating on you that said that you were talking your way into a title shot? Look at all that's happened, and you've backed it up. Mm -hmm. You sort of feel a little, you know, vindication, like, what's up now? You know, look what I've done. Look how I backed it all up. Yeah, um, that actually has something to do with the walkout song that I picked up uh, next. So you're going to have to stay tuned for my response oh. to those people. It's going to be my next walkout song. Can we get a hint? How you like me now? <laughs> okay. I like that one. I like that. And speaking of your next fight, we know it's going to be against Sarah Kaufman. But any idea when and where this fight will take place? Um, I'm hearing rumblings of August. I don't know where, but um, you know, you never know in this business. They could say you're gonna fight tomorrow on the moon. So um, we'll see. Are you still the same grounded, humble Rhonda after all this is going on? Are you are you still gonna be able to focus on the task at hand? You're one of the few people that call me humble. Um, yeah, but when I when I go home, like no, and nobody treats me different, you know. So um, it, it's cool to come to these events and do stuff like this, and it's like. It seems like separate from my actual life, you know, so it's kind of easy to compartmentalize like, okay, you got to go to this thing and be like, all right, smile, and then like go home and be like, Ugh, with your friends. So um, it just, I keep my life outside of fighting very separate. When I'm home, I don't talk about fighting. I have nothing to do with it. So far, no trash talking between you and Sarah. When's that gonna? I mean, it's it not a. Started. You missed out. I think I did. Yeah, she sent out some things. She was like, "Oh, I already. I was just 
already had a practice and ran sprints this morning. You know, Rhonda, enjoy that belt while you can. And so I was like, all right, all right, cool. You want to play? You want to play Twitter, bitch? All right, I'm good at this game. I just got a creativity award. <laughs> so then um, somebody, the BJPen.com put out the video of Misha talking about how like everything on earth was torn off in her elbow. So um, and then somebody uh, put on with that. They were like, you know, don't f with Rhonda Rousey. So I was like, hey, that'd be a funny thing to link. So I was linked to that and put under it. I was like, keep running sprints. That's probably what'll help you the most. And she writes back, I don't would rather fight than run. Or so, it was something really lame. And I was like, do they give USC Twitter awards for the lamest comebacks ever? And uh, I guess she hasn't had a response to that. So. Well, speaking of responses, we'd like to get one from you about Marluce Kunin. I don't know if you know, she had a big win over at Invicta FC, and she called you out after the fight. What did yeah. you make of that? I I'm really happy that suddenly women calling each other out has become fashionable. I don't know who came up with that, but uh, it's, it seems like the the girls are starting to take a hint and pick up on their showmanship, and um, that's a good thing, you know. But uh, you know, she's got to come to me, dude. Like I'm not going anywhere, so uh, I got the belt. She can come get it. I'm ready to fight anytime. All right, well, first things first. Ronda Rousey versus Sarah Kaufman. Can't wait for it, and uh, I hope things didn't get weird earlier between us. But I'm gonna work on this. Okay. Okay. I hope so. <laughs>